Hi, I'm Bill Snodgrass, and in, in this episode, we're going to look at a process of, of doing something that is, that is new, something that is different, something that is maybe outside your comfort zone, um, but there's a couple things I need to attend to first. One is, the, the, the student in my computer class said they've never seen me in a t-shirt, if you should happen to, to see this video. This is kind of a t-shirt, it does have buttons. Also, I have on, I have on ripped jeans. There's my rip, and uh, I, don't, I, I did not buy them ripped, so I know that's not fashionable. I think to accidentally rip your jeans it is not fashionable, but to buy jeans that are already ripped is, is somehow, somehow that's fashionable. So I'm wearing ripped jeans and a t-shirt. I, uh, I got a thing to do today. I got a thing. It's an oil filter. This is an oil filter for the 95 Tahoe. I'm going to I'm going to put the oil filter on. So now those of you who have been uh, around the channel for a while probably realize that I am not a car guy. Um, so th this is outside my comfort zone. So this is how you uh, attack something that is outside your comfort zone. This is this video is is kind of a uh, object lesson in Pushing through to a new place, something that needs to be done. So this is this is how it came about. So I, was, I have a, a there's a problem with the, the fuel filter uh, relay, which that's not a big deal, I guess. You just you know change it, you just pull it out, put a new one in. I was telling one of the other teachers at the school, a guy who is a car guy, and he goes, well, you know, it's an old car, you probably ought to change the fuel filter. And he goes, and it won't hurt anything just to do it. I said, well, yeah, no wrenches. He goes, it's not hard. There's just like you unloosen this thing and you do this thing and it's easy. So we go so I went and got one. Step one is 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 convincing yourself that you can do it. So based on, on Mr. Jones's uh, advice, you know, he insists this is not one of those things that you have to be really, you know, like a super mechanic to do. So I convinced myself that I could do it. Step two is research. Step two is, is gain the information and the tools and the equipment and whatever you need. So step two was, I found a couple of two YouTube videos and they were pretty much loosen this, loosen this, pull this out, put it back in, tighten it, tighten it, you're done. Step two is, is doing the research. Now, somewhere in step two is, do you have the tools that are necessary? So if you're gonna, you know, if you need Photoshop and you don't have it, then you're kind of stuck. But apparently all I need is a half inch wrench and a five something and a something else and I've got some wrenches. I have a set I have a nice set of craftsman wrenches that I got at one point and so I have the tools. Now I have the I have convinced myself that I can do it. I have the tools to do it. I have the knowledge that goes with those tools and even though I'm not like a car person, I'm also 57 years old, I have loosened a few things and tightened a few things up. I've changed parts of a car. I've changed starters and water pumps and things like that. So this is not like completely foreign territory. So one, convinced myself that I can do it. Two, got the tools to do it. Three, have the knowledge to do it. Now four, let's go try to do it. The, the big challenge appears to be something about the gasoline coming out and going all over everything. So that's kind of an uncertainty. I'm not exactly sure. The pictures, the videos, they were, they were kind of sketchy on that. I was like, it's going to come out, so get something to catch it with. And it looked like one guy had a towel. So that's what I'm going to try to do is get a, get a towel. And All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot the rest of this on my iPhone and then uh, see how far this goes. But this is venturing into the unknown, venturing into the new space. What do you need to do to make that a successful experience? Wish me luck. Let's go.
that was close. I don't know, maybe, maybe, who knows. Well, let's see what happens. I don't know. But, cranked and it's running. All right. I'm overcome by the seatbelt. It's always a thing. So, if you came to this video because you are thinking about changing your um, fuel filter, so let me just say that for a first time experience for me, it wasn't that bad. And a couple things I wasn't expecting. If you came to the, because this, you know, you're one of my regular subscribers and you're looking for that motivational moment. Let me, let, me, let me give the quick change debriefing. Uh, the videos that I watched gave wrench sizes. The, the wrench sizes of the videos I watched, they did not fit the nuts on my things. So I ended up with like a 20 millimeter and a 16 millimeter, I don't remember. Um, ah, I also forgot to tighten that one little screw thing. Go back and do that. That probably seems important. Um, the one that is just a bracket screw, but the motivational life lesson, the life lesson is this. Don't be afraid of trying things. Don't be afraid of, of uh, new experiences, even if they challenge you, even if they're outside your comfort zone. Convince yourself that you're able to do that. Talk to some people who you know, know know what's going on and get their input. Do some research, find out what the, the procedure is, make sure you have the tools, and then you know, follow the directions and be careful about it. And then you know, make a video or something. That's all for this episode. Don't be afraid to try new things. Don't be afraid to try and change the fuel filter on your 1995 Tahoe. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave me a comment, question, suggestion, sign up for notifications. If you're, you know, if this is if this is not an auto mechanics channel, if you somehow ended up here because of that, but you know, subscribe anyway. It'd be fun. That's all. See you in the next episode.